Are you ready to level up your music organization game? Today we're going to talk about the Folder Flattener. This is a powerful tool for DJs that simplifies their music library by reducing it to one folder. Okay, so here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Folder Flattener effectively. Here's a whole bunch of songs that are in random folders that I got from record pools, right? A nightmare to be scrolling through all that stuff. Open up the Create Hacker's desktop app, and once you're here, click Folder Flattener. Now before using the Folder Flattener, it is crucial to back up all your music files. This ensures that your precious tracks are safe in case anything unexpected happens during the flattening process. You're gonna click, I have backed up my source folder, which in my case I have. Then I'm going to click the source folder. That's the one I wanna flatten. Then my destination folder. We're gonna double check our source files and destination folder above. And if everything looks good, we're gonna click run. Now, before we see the magic happen, a couple of warnings. This is not for somebody who has millions of songs. If you've got something over 500,000 tracks, maybe pause this video and come back. We have plenty of videos on how to pare down, but this will take a long time if you have a large collection. A couple of the things that I've noticed is people sometimes will dump a whole bunch of random files, like JPEGs, album art, zip folders, and that's gonna gum up the engine a little bit. So you might just wanna go through before you do this, make sure that this stuff is primarily MP3s, MP4s. The stuff that most DJ software would be looking for is what we're gonna do as well. Okay, let's click run. This will take a minute if you have a very large collection. Now, some files below may not be able to be moved. It's possible that they were duplicate file names. Those have been copied to a subfolder in your destination folder. That's one of my favorite parts about this tool is that it grabs your duplicates and gives you a chance to delete them real fast. Let me show you what I mean. Here we are in the one folder and all the songs that were in those multiple folders are now streamlined. It's up here that we're gonna click on review and you're gonna see songs that were in your collection that you may have had duplicates of. You can decide what you wanna do with this, but I'll be honest, you could delete them. And there you have it. By using the folder flattener, you've simplified your music organization process and streamlined your music library. It is important to note that the folder flattener does not preserve your cue points or beat grids quite just yet. Let me walk you through that final step where you can finally move from your old collection to the new one. Take a look at your screen. You've got the old collection above, and then you've got the new collection that you've just flattened. Your DJ software is probably gonna throw up a red flag that says the music is missing. In the case of this DJ software, Rekordbox, I can click relocate, and a very large majority of the beat grids and cue points will return to your collection. You're tricking it to tell it it's here rather than there. It doesn't matter if it's a copy or not. I think it's important that I walk you through how we do this with Serato and Virtual DJ real quick. Dragging and dropping a folder onto the relocate lost files button to search for files currently not found in your music library. Doing this is gonna update the database with the new location. Now for the Virtual DJ users, I got some good news for you. This brilliant kit of software already has its own folder flattener, if you will. If you ever wanna make a move to another location, be it external or internal, you can right click file operations, copy to, and your collection will be waiting for you there as well. Everything gets carried over easily. No need to relocate missing files because the database along with the beat grids and the cue points carry over with it. Hopefully you've gained an understanding on how the folder flattener in the Crate Hackers desktop software works. You can see in many cases it can come in handy when you have your music scattered elsewhere, but it can be a little tricky when you're trying to relocate your music collection altogether to a brand new, fresh and clean music library. The uh, Crate Hackers team is standing by at any time for you through help.cratehackers.com. Not only do we have tons of great searchable solutions, it's a wonderful resource that continues this conversation. And don't forget the Folder Flattener is just one of many tools that we serve up inside the Crate Hackers desktop app. You can import your Spotify playlists, turn your Shazams into crates, and even import CSVs and text files to track match with your existing collection and find the songs that you need. And if you're someone who's curious about Crate Hackers, allow me to give you a peek behind the curtain. Thousands of crates at your fingertips in mixable order with the DJ exclusively in mind. 
Yours now if you click the link below. Seven days of the Crate Hacker's desktop software for Mac and Windows. I'll have that for you in the comments below. I'm Aaron Trailer for the Crate Hackers. Click subscribe and happy hacking.